Hey YouTube, coming at you with Beyond the Hype uh, with what I thought was going to be the best fire and ghost Pokemon, a Marowak. And you know what? Fire Spin Bone Club buffs. Uh, so with the double buff, I thought this this thing's going to rise up. Um, and I it's got one huge, 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 huge problem, uh, which I'm going to go over right now. Uh, but yes, there is a there is an improvement, 100. So we're talking about a Marowak. Maybe I'll do Marowak another day, but. I was doing a Marowak. Shadow's 35. I used the non-shadow because I didn't have a shadow built. Um, so maybe that's... I mean, that doesn't affect... That doesn't, I mean, shadow versus non-shadow does not affect the poor situation that it has, uh, which I'll go over in a sec. But let's just look at the non-shadow because that's what I used. Um, stat product, 110, 145, 126, 2000 overall. Stat product, great. Um, got the defense and stamina uh, to get to that 2000 overall stat product with a... Attack that's not not your like super low, like your uh, zoom rolls and carvings. It's it's more in line with like Quagsire. So it's got like the kind of like the it kind of plays like a not exactly like a Quagsire, but kind of certain extent like uh, you got like a decent. Nah, no, not at all. Never mind. But it's got like the stat product of Quagsire. Moves okay. So Fire Spin has now received two buffs in the last three seasons, or maybe two in the last two. Fire Spin got buffed once before, and it got buffed again. So now, with same type attack bonus, 4.4 damage per turn. Uh, so quite a lot of good damage output there. Energy generation is not amazing, 3.33, which that hasn't changed. Bone Club got buffed. Now, the problem with Bone Club getting buffed is it was, it was like one of the worst moves in the game. And now it's slightly better than the worst move in the game. So 35 for 55, still at 1.57. So in terms of just like just the same type of attack bonus on top of right, so when you add that twenty percent, that's with fifty five is with a twenty percent same type of attack bonus, and we're still only looking at one point five seven damage per energy. So fire spin, I felt the fire spin improvement, hundred percent. I felt the fire spin improvement. You do feel the bone club improvement, but bone club still sucks. You're throwing a super effective bone club at Claude Sire, and it does like a third, if that. Um, so not a good move. Shadow bone has always been a good move. 45 energy, 96 damage, same type of attack bonus, 2.13. So to get that 2.13 for a 45 energy move is great. And with a 20% chance of lowering your opponent's defense by one, uh, a great combo there. So great fire spin, great bone club. It is buff, but it's still garbage. Shadow bone, um, great move. The problem. It was already a problem last season. It has become a worse problem this season. You are a fire and ghost typing, and you have a crap ton of resistances, but you also have a lot of weaknesses. And those weaknesses are everywhere in this current meta. Dark, ghost, ground, rock, water, and I'm going to add on, yes, you double resist normal type moves, but normal type Pokemon double resist your ghost type moves. So... You have a bunch of ghost Pokemon that got buffed that are all the ghost Pokemon are out there that are buffed. Claude Sire and a bunch of ground Pokemon got Mud Setbus, Marowak, uh, Golurk. Now you have Claude Sire everywhere because Poison Sting got buffed. Ground is everywhere. You still have Fur Alligators, one of the best safe swaps in the meta. You still have Carbink and Bastion as the top rock type users. You now have Malamar everywhere as the dark Pokemon. Uh, you got now Drapion. I just posted this morning Drapion and Quillfish. Poison Sting, Dark Poison users got buffed. You got all those. You now have normal typings running all over the place. Licky Licky is a safe swap. Dunsparce has a safe swap. Uh, that double resist your ghost move. Um, the typing is brutal. And I, you're going to see in these battles. I lost a lot of battles. There were some matchups. There was every single matchup. I had at least one bad matchup with Marowak. Most of them had two. There was a few of them that Marowak had no play against all three of them. Um, and it was just the product, the meta right now is not favoring Marowak's typing. And I, I'm just going to put this and 10. Okay, perfect. Yes, 10 and 20 against the main meta. That It felt like worse than that, uh, but it makes sense, right? Here we go. For Alligator, Licky Licky, Mandibuzz, haven't even seen Gujas yet. Uh, Carbink, Machamp. Dunsparce, there's your Gastrodon. Claude Sire, Skeletor just still around. Sableye's got the buff now, so Sableye's everywhere. Diggersby's gonna be more. Um, Malamar is a 50%. Nah, that's that's debatable whether it's a 50%. Um, what are your wins? You beat Drapion? Really? I guess you resist the poison thing. 
Um, yes, you'll hit super fight again, but look at everything you beat. You beat grass and you beat fairy. Well, you're supposed to beat grass and fairy, right? You're, you're a fire type book one. So when you beat grass and fairy is your only things that you're like winning stuff that you do super effective against with your fast move and losing to everything else in the meta that that doesn't that's not good <laughs> so i started with marowak dunsparce whimsicott thinking like again i have a lot of weaknesses i gotta cover my fire weak i gotta cover my water weakness uh with feraligator everywhere i gotta cover my ground weakness with claude sire everywhere so i started with whimsicott and then i put in a zoom roll because uh, i thought i had a little more play um but as you're gonna just see just terrible leads all over the place so diggersby um slightly okay because they're using quick attack now so that is a normal type move it is resisted shadow bone is resisted because they're half normal so i have to throw a bone club bone club still a garbage move so i'm trying to catch the super effective move on a dunsparce because the super effective move is going to kill marowak so i catch this scorching sands on this which also puts me in a rough situation because rollout is resisted on ground so maybe dunsparce is not the best safe swap here um the rollout, though, I did feel the buff. Like, you're going to see it in other matchups in, in, when it, when it's not resisted. I did feel the rollout buff uh, in general. So that is, that is an improvement on these rollout users. Uh, so I will get a second one off, which is great. At this point, they're now going to dump their energy. i probably go back into Marowak because Fire Spin's neutral. And, um, yeah, I'm not even going to let the timer come up. I just get into that, get a bunch of energy, just to be met with for Alligator. 0 for 2 in this team so far. Um, and it's just is a lot more of this to come. So I get a Shadow Bone off. Not enough to take out. Shadow Claws are super effective. Hydro Can is super effective. I did land a Shadow Bone. So now it is in crappy Bone Club range. <laughs> I don't want to sound so negative the entire time. But oh, this was just... It was, I, was, I was so excited for this Pokemon. The number one Fire, number one Ghost Rank Pokemon. Um, and Sableye. So there is your third answer for Marowak. Super effective Shadow Claw and Super effective Foul Play coming your way. So there is one Pokemon that one team, three Pokemon cover your tire weaknesses, cover your like cover you completely. Shield up a Power Gem, get off a Energy Ball or Grass Knot. Sorry, Energy Balls on uh, Jump Bluff. They get to another move. It is another power gem that hurts, uh, and now super effective. I I remember messing this up. I was like, okay, I can probably get to a move here, and then I like, no, I can't. But then at that point, I come in here, and then taking that one extra claw in the animation. Yeah, so that was a terrible end game by my part. But when you have Marowak that has no play against three Pokemon, it's kind of tough, anyways. Although that was really really close for Alligator, right? Okay, bad lead. Got to come in here. They have a Clefable. Okay, good. Clefable will be a good matchup eventually here. Um, Dunsparce gets a draw run off. And this is where the rollout, I started to feel a little bit of a difference. Because normally it was like, oh yeah, with rollouts garbage, uh, I'm going to have to throw three drill runs. But now, like, look at those rollouts starting to hit a little harder. Um, and with it, it may still be an aggressive rollout down. Um but it, it has the potential now. It's got the potential for two plus rollout down. In fact, almost guaranteed two, where before it would not be. Before before you could not roll, roll out down a frost last, which takes super effective from it. Um, it was just such a bad move. And so with that slight buff now, makes a world of difference here because it's still it's generally just a fast charging move, right? Look at these drones spamming. So... Um, Dunsparce putting in work in the mid game here, having grabbed shields, took out Clefable, did a bunch of chip damage on for Alligator. Hydro Cannon lands takes me out, but you have done your job. What is in the back? A Clod Sire again. Poison Sting is resisted, but Stone Edge is super effective. Earthquake is super effective. That was quick, so I assume it's a Stone Edge again. You have good bulk though, right? You live a Stone Edge. You live a super effective Stone Edge because. Your stat product for 2025 overall with a good defense and stamina is good. Super effective bone clubs. Garbage. Um, so I'll shield up one. But super effective bone clubs are not cutting it here. Uh, fire spins are adding up though. Like you can, you can feel the buff on the fire spins like I said. Game is spinning on me so that should have done more but I got caught in the spin there. 
Do you get another Bone Club off? It is a spammy move. It's a 35 energy move. Fire Spin's not super great. And if I get hit with an Ice Beam here, this is going to really hurt. And this is when I was like, okay, I need something a little better to handle for Alligator. So, great lead. Yay. Okay, great lead. Mandibuzz. No, okay. <laughs> I mean, I have an answer for Mandibuzz, but again, right? There's, there's just, oh, uh, there's too many. Just like my Canto Nine Tails, which I loved using, again, for those of you who are new to this channel, which is a lot of people in the past, like, few seasons, um, Canto Nine Tails, what I used, I'm going to go on record saying I was the first person six, seven seasons ago, maybe even longer than that, to use Canto Nine Tails to dominate the meta, and then Cindy eventually used it to win a regional, and everyone's like, oh, who knew Canto Nine Tails was good? Like, me. I put out, like, eight videos on Canto Nine Tails already saying how good it is. It's underslept because... It would dominate um, Dugong, Walrein, Trevenant, Registeel at the time. So I loved using it. I was the first one to use it. You can go back, yeah, go back like a year and just watch how many Canto Nine Tails videos there are in my, probably more than that, um, like one to two years ago, how many Canto Nine Tails videos there are. And then the meta changed away from Registeel, away from Trevenant, um, away from Walrein. They all got nerfed and out came lantern gligar stuff like that and it just died with it and unfortunately fire has not really come back skeletors came skeletors was okay um with this same typing so the question is like why would you use marowak when you had skeletors you wouldn't so they buffed fire spend they buffed bone club to now give this a better play um but at the same time they buffed ground across the board with mud slap and giving it across the board there they buffed like poison users who seem to have this ground type move uh they buffed rollout so now a bunch of normal type pokemon with rollout are being used as safe swaps which resist the shadow bone um they got rid of a lot of the fighters counter was nerfed so as a result there potentially is more dark um malamar they buffed malamar there's potentially more dark with the um with all the nerfs to counter now there is potentially more fairies there's more fairy wind users i don't know if there's more fairies i haven't seen a lot of charm wigglies yet i've seen a lot of jump pluffs i mean jump pluff isn't a fairy but it's got a fairy wind um i've seen wizard i've seen jump pluff um i've seen a lot of fairy wind users i haven't seen a lot of charm users so i'm still seeing about darks i'm running umbreon on a team that you'll see probably tomorrow that's been working pretty well so far. Um, but yeah, so the current state of the meta just does not... Fire Ghost is just not great. And again, and now they left for Alligator unchecked. Because they got rid of... They nerfed Lantern. So for Alligator is even more unchecked now. Um, they nerfed everything around it except for for Alligator. Which was already borderline super strong. Um, so... That is my little rant on that. Um, let's get back to some of the battles. I don't think I need to conclude at the end of this video like I have been because I've done the conclusion a lot here. Again, a normal type Pokemon that I cannot throw Shadow Bone at, so I had to just fire spin Bone Club the crap out of that. Out comes the Claw Sire, and again, maybe maybe the Shadow is better because you get the 20% attack bonus on it. Um, but again, super effective Bone Clubs. I'm going to need three with some fire spins on top here i don't even know if this third one would take out they may shield because they have energy and it would be close no they don't one hp lived three super effective bone clubs with a buffed fire spin and i can't even freaking take out a clot sire and what is in the back another answer I could just stop this video. I got nine more minutes of battles, <laughs> but I can stop this video right now. You get it. Like you get, you get the summary of it. Um, yeah. In conclusion, fire spin, good. Bone club, better, but still garbage. Typing, no bueno. Um, so yeah. Now what do we want to talk about for eight and a half minutes? Um, <laughs> what would these battles play out? I will do a summary. So when I go to like, I'm going to, 
at the end, I, I mentioned on Monday, uh, maybe last video or one of the last videos that I'm going to do a conclusion on Monday, overrated, underrated, and talk about the 50 second switch timer. Um, I've really noticed the 50 second switch timer compared to the 60. A lot of the times, cause it was, it was one of those where it's like, if you both threw like two moves, you still had like awkward, like 10 seconds left. And now it's like when you're on your third or fourth one, it's like, oh yeah, the switch timer is like already up here. It really makes a difference. I have found myself being more aggressive with the switch timer um, being out. Um, I, I find myself jumping around a lot more and not just like in certain situations where you're just kind of like screwed and getting farmed down. Um, now you have the option to like jump out and potentially just like, yes, maybe switch lock yourself on into something else, but instead of just getting like farmed down, it's, it's better. Gallade. Uh, Gallade with energy advantage against a super effective count, uh, close combat and a super effective Leaf Blade. Not the situation you want to be in. Uh, so this is not looking good for me. Um, yeah, let me see if there's any like uh, Windows Catcher's close. Let me see. Let me just address your comments because someone's like, again, for those of you <laughs> who are newer to this channel, me not responding to comments is not new for those people, but I used to heart and respond to everything. But that was when I had a lot less subscribers and I was not this busy with life. Um, okay, let me see what people are saying. Um, let me see if there's anything like popping out on these comments here. Some of them are just like commenting on the video, so I don't need to address them. People are like in the dad comments. If you saw, if you stay till the end of my stay live video, I talked about my kid crying and how it's a fake cry and stuff like that. Um, Claude Jessica, who writes, who comments a lot. Hello, Jessica. Uh, she wrote Claude Sire and Gator being everywhere is already making the meta feel stale. And this is kind of what I mentioned in my other video that everyone's excited now. I already mentioned in the last video, content creators are putting out four, some are putting out four videos a day to cover all these new Pokemon because there is hype. There's growth. You can see it in my views. You can see it in subscriber counts. Um, there's excitement. The meta is going to get stale because instead of having Gligar, Lantern, Skarmory, Quagsire, we're going to have Claude Sire for Alligator, maybe Machamp or Pangoro. I haven't seen many Pangoros because I, I think it's people are still having the IV issue with that. So probably more Machamps. Um, a lot of the normal typings, I think you're going to see a lot of Licky Lickies and Dunsparces and stuff like that. So you're just going to get a new meta and that meta is going to get stale soon. So I agree that this meta is going to get stale with certain Pokemon. Uh, oh man, Malamar. Malamar is... I think Malamar is underrated how strong it is right now. So I think Malamar is going to, um, yeah, which, which, uh, fat, fat kid love cake says I've been using Malamar nonstop. Psywave is so good. It is, it is, it's a shadow claw clone. I said it's a shadow claw clone, but it's better than a shadow claw clone because it has the same damage, same energy, but it's a one turn fast move instead of a two turn fast move. So, um, People are asking me to show jump Jumpluff, the Shadow jump Jumpluff. I just, I, I probably spent like one and a half million. I I just built a Shadow jump Jumpluff. You will probably see it in a Saturday or Sunday or Monday video. Probably a, probably a, these are Friday. So probably a Saturday video. Mm, either Saturday afternoon or Sunday morning. Um, video for jump Jumpluff. Um... Uh, Simon said, watch your videos every day for the last couple of years. So thank you for that. Oh, thank you for your time and effort. Well, thank you for watching. Do you guys think grass Pokemon should have more play because of all the mud slappers and for alligator? Yes. Um, I use chestnut in my video this morning and I think it is a very, very strong Pokemon. And for the, it's kind of the same reason you mentioned, there's a lot of mud slappers. There's a lot of for alligators and yes, 
there was a lot of poison and grass takes super effective from poison um but it, like the main poison is going to be clod sire and it runs stone edge and earthquake if you're just a pure grass it can only throw stone edge and if you're a half fighter like uh like um i just said what is i just said his name chestnut um you resist both the the rock and the ground so i do think there is a role for that there is maybe a couple issues with grass again one of the main again i already talked about all the issues with grass with the main strengths of the main series game not translating to pokemon go um based on what i said about these fires i don't think we're going to see as many fires as a thing i'm going to see i think we're going to see more mud slap users so i think there's probably a play for grass um we just got to figure out which grass it is. And but again, a lot of people are using jump bluff. So if you're using a grass type Pokemon, jump bluff's going to kill you because it is a grass grass flyer. So maybe with a grass flyer and jump bluff running around everywhere, potentially, maybe it's a little. Tr uh, Lugia Hunter, Claude Sire, Malamar is a sick core to use right now. Pair it with a third that can cover more ground within the meta, and I'm sure you'll go up yellow. Yeah, like. This is what I, this is what I think is going to happen too. I think it's basically going to um, do that. Someone asked about uh, has been a casual player saving good IV Pokemon to PP. I'm trying to figure out what a useful charge up. Uh, I don't really know what that's. There's been a lot of comments on the video, which I appreciate. I, I kind of went over um, the how it helps. Everyone's talking about then how Karate Chop and Encounter are not the same animation. Um, a lot of you said you prefer Rock Slide on Machamp. Um, because I'll just read Tyler's because he comments constantly. I prefer Rock Slide so far because eight turns for Cross Chops and ten um, turns for Rock Slide is crazy fast. So in terms of turns, um, it's a two-turn move. So it's only four Karate Chops to get to a Cross Chop and five Karate Chops to get to a Rock Slide, which is crazy fast. It's not a great move, but it's the same coverage and less bait dependent than Stone Edge. Um, so that's basically just talking about how, like, yes, Stone Edge is a nuke, but it is another couple karate chops on top of that. Um, so with the Shadow Machamp that everyone uses, a lot of people seem to be, rec like, going with the Rock Slide. It did get nerfed, but, you know, with your with the Shadow bonus on top of it, it could be working. I like Rock Slide on Machamp, five fast moves and good damage. Yeah, Max Blue just confirmed that, and a lot of people thumbs up. So I think a lot of people are preferring Rock Slide on Machamp here. Um, someone want to see Dunsparce and Lick Licky? Here's Dunsparce. Uh, oh, Tyler. <laughs> yeah, see, he comes all the time. Uh, Dunsparce. Here's Dunsparce. Again, I think Roll it's very good. I'll try Licky Licky. I don't have one built up yet, but I will build one up. Um,. And then cycle cut many. I still need to try out. Um, so that is the video. Um, slash me responding to some comments for the last eight minutes because I've already be, I've already summed up what's the problem here. I don't need to sum it up again. Um, yeah, the problem is I don't I. I don't think the meta is going to change enough for this to be useful. Like, I, I truly think the meta will be Claude Sire. Like I said, Claude Sire, bad for you. Malamar, evenish slash bad for you. For Alligator, bad for you. We saw a bunch of Azumarils, bad for you. Um, Mudslap users, Gastrodon, Golurk, a the other Marowak, Kanto Marowak, bad for you. I, ju I just think that the meta is not going to change in the way that you need it to change for Marowak to be strong. And we'll end it there because these videos are already 25 minutes. So that is it. 
Hope you guys have a good weekend. Um, yep, stay tuned. I've got more videos coming this weekend. It's been a grind. Because usually I can get ahead. Um, it's just been a grind. I've been doing like two a night. Um, and I've been, they've, again, <laughs> chat time with Dan. They've mandated, I used to work three days from home. I used to work five days from home during COVID. Um, and then we started going back once a week, like two years ago. And then they mandated two times a week. And starting this week, they've mandated three times a week back in the office. Now, let's have this discussion quickly. Um, a lot of people are like, oh, boo-hoo, you have to go to the office three times a week. I've been having to go five times a week. So suck it up. Yes, agreed. Um, I've been very lucky to have work from home. That being said, there is absolutely zero reason for me to go office for like 50 different reasons. One, I can do my entire job at home because I work on a computer just doing policy and financing and stuff work that I don't, that I need a computer for. Two, uh, when I'm in the office, half my, be, during COVID, we hired a bunch of people throughout Canada because you worked from your, you work from home, right? So uh, we hired a bunch of people from Toronto, Montreal, um, out east, out west. Um, so when I go to the office, I am just on uh, Microsoft Teams video conferencing anyways, because there is very, very few people. I don't want to say very few, but they're like half the team is not in Ottawa. They are across Canada. So I am taking a, and I live very, very far from downtown. Um, so it's an hour commute in each way. So I have to take an hour commute in to do the work that I have to do that I could just be doing at home on my computer anyways, to not interact with anyone because half the office isn't there, to then take an hour commute home, missing quality time with the kids. Um, and I had like been, so I'm leaving at like 7 a.m. to get on the bus and I'm not home till five. There's times where like I could like pop out a video, like have it all set up and like pop out a video quickly in 20 minutes on like my lunch break or something, which would allow me to get ahead for this. But now it's just been like in the office, got to do my battles like on the bus um, and then like get home, edit them at night at eight o'clock, shoot at like 10, 30, 11. Um, yeah. So it's like 10 30 right now. And this is my second one. And that's because I, I luckily edited the one at like six o'clock when I got home. Anyways, I know play me a small as violin, but it's just one of those, like, <laughs> just add on another, like, oh, this is unfortunate. Anyways, that's enough. Bye.